Hey, how's it going? So you're probably wondering how to use your Xbox controller on games like uh, StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, maybe WarCraft 3. Well, I was uh, wondering that myself. I decided to make my own project since Blizzard doesn't actually offer any sort of solution for that. So uh, I built it in C Sharp, which is going to require .NET Framework 4.7.2. Um, here You can download it here, or I think it actually might come in a Windows 10 update. Um, also Windows 7 or above. And um, if you do want to use it on Warcraft 3 Classic or the original StarCraft, um, you will have to be on the latest patch. And um, you just have to follow these sections here of instructions. Uh, the StarCraft 2 game settings, um, Warcraft 3 Reforged, and StarCraft Remastered. The Remastered version of StarCraft, I know uh, some people are saying that there is a, um, a hotkeys file but actually I think in some sort of patch, they got rid of it and they said, now you have to edit a csettings.json file. And I give the path right here. So let's say you are trying to do it for StarCraft Remastered. I'll go ahead and show you setup before, before I actually show some, um, some gameplay later. So let's say we go to that path there and we're gonna open up the JSON. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. You can use uh, Notepad or whatever uh, text editor. And it's this line right here, this hotkeys section right here. It's just a long string. So everything goes into these quotation marks here. And uh, so basically you're just gonna copy. You're just gonna copy this section right here, hotkeys, and then this string. It's a long string, but what it's gonna do is uh, allow us to use the um, sort of a grid layout like all the other games will. And then you'll have to make sure that the game is running in a, in a full screen windowed mode. And that's to allow our overlay for our button presses to be on the very top, which I'll show you later in gameplay. And same with Warcraft 3 Reforged and StarCraft 2, you're going to have to enable the full screen uh, windowed mode as well as grid hotkeys. And what that's going to do is all, make all the hotkeys the exact same uh, keys on our keyboard instead of having them be something different per unit or per building. This will uh, basically unify everything. And um, and of course, I do have some additional information over here, things like if you want to use GPD Win, you're gonna have to um, make sure that if you're touching the screen to switch it back to mouse uh, cursor mode and then click the buttons like as though you're uh, going to be clicking on a mouse and then switch it back over to game uh, controller mode. Um, if you're going to be using Steam Remote Play, you will have to um, basically add this program to it first. The um, it, like if we were, if you want to download this from GitHub, you would go under the releases section here, and then you would download this zip file here, uh, Blizzard underscore controller dot zip. This is the entire application uh, compiled, and the program is called uh, Controller .exe, I believe. Yes, Blizzard control, Blizzard underscore controller. You're going to unzip the contents of this. So under extract, you're going to extract all, uh, place the folder onto your desktop. And then when you, so let's let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to press extract all, and I'm going to switch it over to desktop. It's going to take a little bit. There are quite a few files in here. Blizzard controller. And because I did not, code sign this, it will appear as an unknown publisher. So just run it anyways. I, there is no virus in it. And if you really want to, you can compile it yourself. It is an open source project. Um, and we're using Sharp DX overlay and overlay.net, a modified version of overlay.net. I had to add some features in there that were missing. And uh, Input Simulator Plus, um, I guess. And um, so here we have settings. Variable cursor speed is when you move your joystick on your controller here. So when the uh, further you move it, so let's say we're, we only move it this far, it's good, the cursor is going to move slower. Uh, the further you move it, the faster the, the cursor is going to travel. Uh, there's a dead zone section here. If you have an older controller um, and you have uh, some travel in it where you're just barely tapping it and it's um, just moving on its own, uh, you're going to want to increase that number. Um, if you notice that the joystick, when you move it, um, is taking quite a bit of travel before it starts, you're going to want to decrease that number. So the dead zone, 
The higher the number, the bigger the dead zone. Uh, the cursor speed, um, 12 I think is a very comfortable number for number for StarCraft 2 and WarCraft 3. For StarCraft 1, I think it's actually too high of a number. You might have to dial it down to a 6 or a 3. Um, uh, I'm not sure why that is, it's just how the game runs. And uh, all those settings will be saved every time you close the application and when you reopen it, it'll remember where you were at. You um, do not have to always go back to the GitHub page to read the instructions. I went ahead and put each of the instructions here under each tab. And so, like I said, with the Steam streaming, you're gonna wanna point Steam to this application. So what we would do is, I'm gonna open up Steam here. And I already added it, but what you would do is add game, add a non, add a non Steam game, and then you would point it to um, blizzard underscore controller. And uh, so if I type in StarCraft here, right here, under properties. And um, so when you remote in, you're gonna launch this application, you're gonna press stream on it. And uh, it's gonna start this up. It should see your controller as an Xbox controller. And then um, game will be not running. When you press blizzard um, startbattle.net, it's going to launch uh, the battle.net launcher because the applications cannot be directly launched. Um, and also be sure that you have battle.net running minimized in the system tray prior. Um, otherwise, you will get an error that will pop up, um, which I believe I wrote down here. Uh, yes, it'll say required application data not found. You're going to get an error message of that which means you have to have battle.net launched prior to pressing the button here. So we'll press it and then from here you'll, per, you, you can actually, if, so let's say you're using an Android device with an Xbox controller, you're gonna touch on the screen play uh, for StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, or WarCraft 3 uh, Reforge. It does work for classic like I said as well. And um, like I said, be sure that it is in full screen windowed mode. And uh, for there are a few little uh, little catches there as well. So that is pretty much it. I have also all the control layout buttons here. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and check out the gameplay footage.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you uh, want to check out the project, be sure to check out the GitHub page and star or fork the source code if you want to make any changes. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you enjoy video game modifications, hacking, or programming.